Southside not only play for the coveted Anchor Bowl trophy, but they'll also play for first place when they meet in Blunts Creek, but that won't happen until Monday night. They'll have to wait to hand out the trophy that evening. They decided to move the game because of the weather, so we'll wait a few more days for that Beaufort County showdown. But we did have Jones Senior winning its first conference opener. The Trojans looking for their third straight win played at East Carteret. The Mariners having their own struggles, but look at this. That is a beautiful run and tiptoeing down the sidelines is Miguel Basado. Thanks to Daniel Griffey for that award winning video. Basado again and then Basado on the pass and East Carteret wins their homecoming game. They get the victory. Beautiful catch by Skylar Gray. 33 to 14. So East Carteret gets off the schneid in that good victory. Uh, since they've been injury depleted. Pamlico back at home hosted Lejeune. The Devil Pups looking for their first win uh, of the season really for a couple of years and certainly senior night going on for those Hurricanes who then hammered things down as they ran out on the field looking for some good things to happen. Look at this. That's a good thing that'll happen. That's a pick six by Isaiah Godet. There was a flag on the play so the touchdown did not score. The crowd in Bayboro not amused. So the Canes decide, okay, well, don't score there. We'll score here. Somewhere, there he is, is the touchdown for Pamlico. And then how about one more time? The two-point conversion by Zymir Best and Isaiah Godet. And Pamlico rolled from there. They picked up the easy win over Lejeune, 54 to six, as they stay a game back in conference play. In the East Central Conference, East Duplin and Wallace Rose Hill, the only teams without a league loss, and they meet in two weeks. So East Duplin trying to take care of business in Wheat Swamp tonight. They hit the road to take on North Lenore in what we like to call the Wayne and Wiley Jackson Bowl. If you're in the know, you know. If you're not, I'll explain it to you some other time. Here we go. East Duplin just grinding out the victory again and doing it with Quantez Whitley, he had several scores on the evening, and East Duplin gets the easy win at the Swamp. They take out North Lenore, 45 nothing. Kinston sitting a game behind in the stands is hosting James Keenan. First ever meeting between these two schools, and what an epic contest. Kinston would come out early and look like they were going to run away with it as Messiah Sendaya with the pass to Kasim Morgan, and he's going to take it for the score. But Keenan with a furious rally in the fourth quarter, and they win it in double overtime. When Kinston could not complete the two-point conversion, James Keenan with a stunner, 48 to 47. Southwest Onslo made the trip to deep run to take on South Lenore for the first time in about 15 years. These two used to go at it every year back in the old Kendrick Bernie days. And check out South Lenore. The pass to Matthias Blunt and Matthias is going to be blunt about it. He's going to take it in for the score. South Lenore cheerleaders, though, said uh, we need more than that. Southwest Onslow in the lead, and that Stallion defense would come through with the sack. And those Stallions huddling up saying we need more touchdowns, and they would get it. It's Marcus Lucas and company, they get the win over South Lenore. 54 to 6. Raekwon Williams, our thoughts and prayers with him. He had to be carted off the field for South Lenore. So we hope that young man is okay. All right, Wallace Rose Hill played a non conference game Thursday night. The Bulldogs travel to the Goldsboro area to take on Rosewood. And how about those Bulldogs with Kanye Roberts? He rushed for more than 200 yards and five touchdowns. Kevin Motzinger saying, do your job and recruit this kid. He says he's a Division I prospect. And he is uh, right in the uh, same wheelhouse as Javante Williams, who now plays in the NFL. So he'd like to get that young man a scholarship offer. Certainly some colleges need to check out Kanye Roberts. He is quite the stud. All right, we also had eight-man football last night as John Paul II put its 4-1 record on the line against 3-1 Faith Christian. The Saints had the dynamic running duo of Smash and Dash. Dash is the sophomore running back Justin Biggs. He came up big with three touchdowns. And smash, that's Ryan Rosenborough. He also had three TDs. John Paul ran all over Faith Christian, 42 to 38, to go to five and one on the year. Some other eight man scores to let you know about. Bethel Christian falling for the first time this year. They lost 76 to 30, while Pungo falls on the road, 56 to 34. A lot more coming up here on the Blitz, including our Battle Royale. North Pitt trying to get off to its best start in 20 years. We're going to check on the Panthers and their cheerleaders and Brett Kennedy next on the Blitz. Yeah.